Hi guys, Mike of Fights of Friends here. I enjoy a 15 minute human chess match as much as the next guy, but there's one reason, one reason that we all tune in to combat sports, that we continue to tune in. What we talk to our friends about, what brings the fans to the edge of their seats, what gets them jumping out of their seats into the crowd, and that is the finish, the left hook knockout from Chuck Liddell, the blood curdling choke from Damian Maya, the shin to chin from Holly Holm, the arm bar that extends a little too far from Ronda Rousey. What do we watch fighting for? We watch to see the finish. Five fights, all under five minutes, all finishes. This is Michael Fights with Friends, and this is Fights with Finishes. We're going to start out at Brave 15 from te September 7th. we got Ricardo Torlini versus Ramon Cardoza. Uh, Ricardo Torlini would come into this 23-7. and Ricardo Torlini just 4-0. Oh. Um, Ricardo has the tribal tattoo. Uh, Ramon's the one who has the kind of Vitor-looking head like, oh, wow, flying knee for Torlini. Oh, beautiful right hook right on the button from Torlini. He's moving in aggressive. Nice knee to the body from Torlini. And he's wrapping the arm around. Oh, he made that look so easy. Wow, how slick was that? Arm triangle choke right there. 30 seconds into the second round. And he left us some time over for some replays on that one. Ricardo Torlini moves to 24 and 7 with a beautiful arm triangle. Uh, let's get another look at that from a different angle. And there it is. He just flips him over and down to the ground. Made it look so easy. And like I said, there's a big experience differential between these guys. Uh, it's kind of like a almost like a guillotine arm choke combination. It's not quite a guillotine, not quite an arm triangle. A little modification on that, but he just slipped that in like he was practicing in the dojo on a white belt. I um, throws him down to the ground. Beautiful win for Ricardo Torlini. I'm uh, moving to 24 and seven, and that is fight number one. Fights with finishes, episode two. All right, for our second fight, let's stay in South America. We got Jaime Cordova, 10-4, and four, out of Peru, taking on Geraldo Cujo of Brazil. Geraldo in the black and white there out of Brazil. Uh, Jaime Cordova uh, in the kind of reddish and white there. Oh, Geraldo coming forward aggressive to start this bout out. He's got a lot of power in those hands. Nice inside leg kick. Comes in with the head kick. Nice body kick. Cordova gets a takedown, though. Got a little over aggressive there. Both these gentlemen have great jujitsu here. So Colo's got that. He's got an arm. He's got that rubber guard high. Rolls out. Cordova's got the back. He's standing up. What's he going to do with this? He's got options from the knees to the head here. Okay, Geraldo. And they're free, and they're back in the center of the cage. Remember, this is all finishes. How's it going to end? Knockout, head kick, submission. Oh, there it is! He's down, and that is it! Wow. Uh, Geraldo Culo of Brazil moved to 12 and 3. Uh, looked like a short form. Let's look at that from another angle. We're going to bring up another angle here in a minute. And I think the overhead view might actually be our best angle on that shot. And Jaime Cardova is out. Geraldo's just going to come over. He feels, out. Oh, his heart's beating. He's still breathing. He's good. He's going to walk off and celebrate. Let's check out a replay here on Fights with Finishes. I promise you fights. I promise you finishes. Geraldo Cole got the finish. Here's a replay. There we go. It would 
So it was a jab and a straight right behind it, right on the back of the ear. Now watch the overhead view here. I think we might be able to see, there you see right on the back of the ear there, that right hand just got him right in the spot. Let's watch it from another angle here. There's the jab right behind the ear. Looks like that jab really hurt him too. And then he hits him again behind the ear, and he is out. Good job by the referee jumping in before uh, Jaime takes any more damage. And great knockout victory for Geraldo Culho out of Brazil. Another finish from here at Brave 15 in out of Colombia. Let's go to fight number three. Sometimes the world of MMA enters the real world as this man throws another man off a bike during a bike race. His friends jump over the gate, and what does he do? And he grabs him and throws him over the end. Knockout, ring out. That is a finish number three. Finish number four comes in the workplace, and this should be on some kind of human relations video. I'm pretty sure uh, this is a violation of some sorts. Watch the man in the medallion here in the right hand. Bam! He is out. You're not supposed to do that at work. Now, this guy's John with him. He's saying something. Maybe he's saying something he shouldn't be, but bam, right hand, knee to the stomach. You just can't do that. And the last guy, kaboom! And we are back to Brave 15 for the main event. Alex Torres of Colombia, the hometown boy, against Godofredo Pape of Brazil. These guys did not touch hands. And here we go, round one, fight number five, fights with finishes, Brave 15, main event, Godofredo Pompey, uh, there in the black with the yellow kind of shorts there in the cross, um, Alex Torres uh, with the red and the bright white shorts there, uh, the blue gloves, uh, Godofredo moving forward, uh, getting Torres pushed up against the fence here, goes for a spin kick, misses. Godofredo is a very aggressive striker, though. He's got some violent finishes on his record. Uh, you can see him get down, and Alex Torres has got some finishes of his own, and he is used to being in some wars as he throws a couple of shots right there. Pompe continues to move forward with the pressure, fakes that front kick, it throws a right hand. Nice job of, of uh, Torres to block it, and good defense against the spin kick there. Oh, Torres goes for the leg kick. Pompey gets the takedown immediately. Uh, Torres pops right back up, but oh, great grip there. There's an Ochigari there for Godofredo Pompey. And he is in the guard of Alex Torres. Uh, Godofredo Pompey, more experience. Uh, he is 13 and 4. Alex Torres is 5 and 4. Uh, Godofredo Pompey. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. He knows what he's doing on the ground. Let's see if he can pass the guard of Alex Torres. Three and a half minutes left in this first round. And Torres has been doing a great job of popping back up, though, but got, Pompey's got his back. Got a friend. Oh, great. Great job of Torres to slam him on the ground, but Pompey's flattening him out. Great job of keeping his balance to stay on top of Torres. And this is a horrible position. If you're Alex Torres, this this is one of the last places you want to be uh, standing with all of Godofredo Pape's weight on your back as he sinks those arms around your neck like an anaconda. And there he goes trying to go underneath the chin there. His chin was exposed there for a minute. Uh, God afraid of Pape. He's patient. He's a master at this sort of thing. Uh, he's stretching Alex Torres out. Torres, Torres doing the things that he knows how to do. Um, he's not exactly fighting this horribly. And this isn't the it's not the worst thing you can do, what he's doing. But God afraid of working to get underneath that chin, though. Um, Alex Torres, I mean, you have a few options here. I would slam him into the cage if it were me, honestly. And it looks kind of like that's what he's trying to do there a little bit. And, and now that's exactly what he's trying to do. But that does not help him. Oh, he's got full hooks in and he's down. 
and he is underneath the chin. This looks to be it for Alex Torres. Oh my gosh, Alex Torres rips his hands off. How did he get out of that? That was absolutely incredible. What great defense from Alex Torres, but he is not out of the woods yet. Godfredo Poppy still got the hooks in. Now he's going to use the fence to his advantage. Climb the fence with his feet to try to get a better angle, trying to get more leverage on that choke this time. Going to the body, trying to loosen Torres up. So he can try to get that choke in again. Torres moving to his side a little bit more now. That's going to make it a little harder for Pape to get that choke in. He's going to have to stretch him out now. He's got, he's got a little bit of work to do. Torres needs to move to his left. He needs to move. What he needs to move to is move straight in. And there you go. There he's got an arm in between. What is going on here? And got a front of Pope. He's got an arm bar. And that is it. That came out of nowhere. Alex Torres looking for the Anaconda choke again. And God afraid of Pope. Pops out the arm bar. Can you believe it? Friends, that was absolutely incredible. As Godfrey de Pompe bows to the crowd, I want to see another angle on that. I, that surprised me. I did not watch this fight before I did the commentary on it because I wanted to be just as surprised as you guys. And that was excellent. You can see he's got him looking for the choke that whole time. He's got his arm, and he's just like, oh, my God, he's freaked out. And he's got him completely locked. Look at this. He's got the leg all the way over. What a beautiful transition from Godfredo Pape to the Anaconda choke that Alex Torres was looking for. Was almost choked out earlier. Alex Torres, a great job of tearing that Anaconda choke off. I don't think he was, he was not, look at it right here. So there it is. He, he gives him that arm. I'm thinking, oh, maybe Alex has got a way to escape here. No, God afraid of story. God afraid of Pompey takes that arm and just about rips it off. Alex Torres wincing from the pain there. And that is another episode of Fights with Finishes. What a finish from God Alfredo Pompey to cap off the second episode of Fights with Finishes. That was absolutely amazing. As always, I love you. I respect you. And I'll see your fine asses later.